In this video, I try and tackle the biggest and most epic and ambitious animated project from conception to scripting, animating, filming, special effects, editing, post-production, all within the space of 24 hours. This video is brought to you by MSI's Creator 17 laptop. G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and I, I mean, you, click, you know what the thumbnail title said, and I just you did the intro thing. But I'm starting tomorrow. This is just my little bit of pre-prep time just to, uh, to get my bearings. Oh, do you know what I need? I need a production plan. Idea. Script. Animate. Slash puppeteer. Ear. Capture. Render. All that stuff. Edit. Music. Sound effects. Special effects. Color grade. Render. Profit. Right, so this is a program called Flipside, and as you can see, I could be a character and I can act like in the in the thing. Oh, that's right, I can control the expressions with this. <sighs> hey, I am currently the cowboy. You can see my cowboy legs. Oh, this is it. I'm on. So the plan is I need to act like this and then film it with a virtual camera. I can switch between my cam camera angles here and I can zoom in. Boo. All right, let's do it. Let's record. Act like this and then film it with a virtual camera. Now, if I go over to this, stop recording, in theory, I've made a video file. So the plan is I need it to act like this and then film it with a virtual camera. Main point is I know how to film, get the footage, edit, sound, music, epic stuff epic movie. Now this is a lot to get done in 24 hours, but I have faith. I believe I can do it. How do you feel about an early start tomorrow, Gareth? How about, how about we'll go home, rest up, and we'll come in maybe 6 a.m. You are paying me, yeah? Of course I am, because this video is sponsored. This video is brought to you by MSI and their brand new laptop, the Creator 17. I'm recording this voiceover from the future. So I can tell you that this laptop ran flawlessly, processing multicam files up to 13 HD shots playing back in real time with its RTX 2080 Super Max Q, 8 gig graphics, 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor and 32 gigs of RAM. It handles everything you can throw at it. But most excitingly, the Creator 17 is the first laptop in the world to feature a mini LED display, a technology that can dim or brighten parts of the screen based on what's displayed from behind the monitor, meaning that the laptop monitor itself has industry leading color presentation, contrast, color accuracy that make this the perfect laptop for content creators. Go check out the MSI Creator 17 laptop and learn more with the link in the description. And a big old thank you to MSI for making my 24 hour challenge and this video possible. So I think that's it. I think we're uh, I think we're gonna go home and get our rest. Say goodbye to our loved ones. See you in the morning, Gary. Are you gonna miss me? Uh, okay. Say no no. Okay, well that's that then. Thank you. I got your coffee. You got me I got coffee too. I got two coffees! Yay! Are you ready? And Quick! Hey! There it is! Ah! Let's do this. First things first, I need to decide the genre and theme of my movie. It should just be like this unassuming guy and all this random stuff keeps happening and it just gets more like bizarre, like a fever dream. <gasps> That's the movie title. Fever dreams come true. <laughs> Story of an average Joe. First name average, last name Joe. Wants to become a YouTuber. See how you gotta write, the key is to write about something you know. And falls in love. I feel like the person who watches, his name should be Claire. Claire Liberty. <laughs> Cause then it's celebrity. Stuff happens. That'll be about eight hours of filming. <laughs> The end. end. <laughs> I need to record the core beats first, like the interactions between the main characters in the mo more mundane situations, and then slowly escalate it. The more time I can dedicate to the fever dream, the better. Now, I spent a full half hour on setting up the VR program and screen recording tools alone. But you'll see as a bit of a theme in this challenge, carefully setting up each chunk of the process is the most important part of making the rest of that chunk happen without a hitch. And I've learned this from years and years of making animation and content and all sorts. The more cleanly you set something up, the more cleanly you make it happen. All right, I need to start recording. How long have I 
22, that's two hours up. So this is flip side. This is what I'll be recording uh, my, my movie in. The guys who make it are really, really cool. I've used it before, as you know, but, but they've been making it much more reliable over time, adding some features. So let's pick our set. So I think we need to start in the office. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we need a celebrity. Yeah, she looks more like the typical YouTube Celebrity, doesn't she? Is this our everyman? <laughs> okay, maybe not our everyman. Whoa, right on. What about Adam? Maybe Adam's our main character. So I picked out a cast of characters and it was time to film my first scene and I started off filming the extras. It was honestly really fun to get into character and puppeteer them going about their day, slowly filling up the scene with some personality and organic motion. I would learn later that recording the extras at the end of the capture process after the main characters would be smoothest and best, but I was learning a lot on the fly in order to keep this project moving. Now with the foundation laid, it was time now to record the main actor's lines. <sighs> One day, I'll be with you. And I love YouTuber celebrity, celebrity. Okay, that actually wasn't bad, except for the fact that I forgot what the name of the love interest was. So really my goal now is I need to make my first proper interaction between the two main characters, whose names are Average Joe and Plain Jane. Okay, all right, I got this. Oh, Claire, you're so beautiful. I wish I could be with someone like you. Claire Lebrity. Showtime! A girl like her wouldn't understand a man like you. <laughs> that end smile was pretty magic. I think I've got something there though. So I'm just gonna keep that take and just get some camera work. <laughs> I think that's it. I think we've got our first scene. All right, now I need a film with Claire Liberty. After a short lunch break, it was time to record the actual camera work. And though it felt slow going so far, this is where the magic of doing it in Flipside started to really shine. The more I used the program, the more I got used to it and became more efficient and using it. And because the performances I captured were saved and then replayable in the app, it meant that the camera work was sort of captured in real time as I filmed around that replayed scene, making it a really organic process to capture as many camera work takes and angles of exactly the same performance as possible. And honestly, the camera work stage is the most satisfying part because it's all come together and you're really just getting all the good stuff. On top of that, I could also just screen capture the camera's perspective without necessarily recording the character's take. In essence, meaning that I could just selfie cam and film or improvise without necessarily capturing the performance, allowing me a lot of room to muck around in character and, and potentially use that stuff later. That's, I think we got enough of her vlogging. <laughs> so now on to building the next full scene. How it works is you act out as a character and capture the performance and when you have a take that you're happy with, you keep it and you add to it as you perform another character. Essentially you're building on layers of character interaction and acting and improvising against yourself. It's super organic and really fun stuff. Now obviously this form of puppetry animation doesn't hold a candle to handcrafted 3D animation, but I think you'll see through the sheer amount that I was able to perform and capture and finalize within 24 hours that there is a huge case to be made for something like this becoming the future for independent 3D film creators. Now, when I was capturing the characters' interactions, I made sure to give room between the line deliveries, leaving space between some of those interactions. It just meant that I could get it all in one take, even though it was a lot longer and with the gaps, because I could come back in the edit and just remove those gaps and tighten it all up. We can finally be together. You are not welcome here. But you're not welcome here. But you, to you told me I'm always welcome, Claire. The most important thing I was focusing on was performing something really expressive and that looks organic in character. Or, you know, as organic as possible when you're basically puppeteering Team America characters. <laughs> All right, well that was a success. I'm gonna do some really dramatic takes, some really intentionally dramatic shots, but also I wanna do some still ones and some more reliable ones. So I'm gonna start with the reliable shots and I'm gonna get incrementally more dramatic. Peace
time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Thank you very much. Thank you. What, what, what's a 24 hour challenge without my right hand man? So are you staying in it for the long haul? In it for the long haul. This guy, MVP right here. Have you got like bedding? Yeah, look at this guy. I thought the nook. It's gonna be the place you'll get the most like distance from me. Time is ticking. All right, let's do this. So this is where things started to really amp up. The timer was ever diminishing. It was dark outside now, but it was time to build on that fever dream concept and see how far I could take the theme. Starting off with an epic rooftop ninja style sword fight. And honestly, I spent too much time on this. I'm glad I did in hindsight. I got some great shots and interactions, but where I initially imagined my story would go from epic scene to epic scene, I realized to have enough time to edit everything, I'd need to cut some corners. You see, one of the locations that you can film in is literally a big green void, meaning whatever camera angles you get, you can chroma key out in post and layer on anything else. So with this in mind, I filmed a huge bunch of footage of the main character as well as a wide variety of extras and moved on to filming through many different worlds that this character and others would be warped through and interact in. This whole process involved a lot of screaming. Ah! I have a really weird job. <laughs> so I pulled together as many scenes as I could. Some green screened, some captured, some filmed like the earlier ones, but in the end I needed one scene to tie it all together and where I was originally going to end back in the office, I had thought of a little different twist ending that I thought would make it much more fun and obviously have a bit of visual difference ending somewhere else. So obviously I'll reveal all those details later when you see the animation. Suffice it to say that I had a lot I wanted to bring together to wrap it all up and time was fast running out. Now on top of all that, keep in mind that while this is much quicker and more fun than traditional 3D animation, it is also very, very physically intensive. By this stage, I had been flailing around my whole body with a headset on for over 15 hours. Oh, so I was exhausted by this stage, but I did have the use of the program down to a fine art and I was really comfortable with the workflow. So I smashed out what I felt was a really substantial and highly layered final scene in record time and with a lot of confidence, but my God, I don't recommend doing this in the way and time frame that I did because by the end of gathering all the footage and performing and recording, I was aching all over. My muscles were burning and my feet felt like they had shards of glass in them. <laughs> but I got it. I, I got everything I needed and now it was time to put it all together. Oof. Do not recommend. Oh man. Okay, so I was aiming for somewhere between eight to 10 hours to edit. I have under seven, that's okay. It's getting pretty late. Can you help me set up a, an editing setup? Just a table, we'll dim the lights. I'll be nice and quiet from now on. Some headphones to get stuck into it. I need some food, I need a Red Bull, and I'm... I need some sleep, but I'm not getting that, am I? Mm, yeah. Six hours and 20 minutes left. All right, you need it. You, you, you've earned a bit of rest. Show us you. My little hidey hole. Have you set it up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> crib still a thing? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Got a nice beam to rest your head on. Oh, this is actually quite comfy. All right, good night. All right, sleep tight. This is it, guys. I've been preparing my whole life for this moment. Now, I don't want to go to sleep, but I do want to be comfortable. I got this from VidCon two years ago. Felt thematic. <laughs> now into the edit. Suffice it to say that it really did, like I said earlier on, come down to the setup. Really 
carefully structuring the project so that the edit would just fly. And it worked perfectly. I am just so happy that it worked so smoothly. I spent the first couple of hours of my entire final six or seven hours of the edit on setting up the multicams, making sure everything was really cleanly in sync, even color coding some of the sections and just clearly nesting or segmenting or leaving markers on sections that I needed to remember certain things for, setting up the chroma key, setting up all the parameters I need, all of the core pieces so that bringing it all together would be a matter of just going through chronologically and feeling my way through the project creatively. We're under an hour. And I've just finished the first full pass of the video, meaning I've got it pretty much edited, but I have no music and I haven't done any finishing touches. I think I'll wake Gareth up with 10 minutes to go just to capture the last bit, but I think I'm gonna get this done. With the last elements of this project being music, sound effects, and the, some of the transition screens, some of the greatest points of emphasis for me and where I put a lot of focus on were actually the sound effects. Because there really is nothing more distracting or more of a letdown in a project where there is clearly visual interactions or setups to a joke that aren't punctuated by the sound that is clearly meant to be there. Or an action scene or a transition that doesn't have the proper impact that you need. So I made sure to, as best as I could, apply sound or a sound effect to every major point of interaction or punchline to give the, the piece as much polish as possible. It was a lot of peas there, but you get the point. Slamming in a bunch of music and a few quick transitions between the, the songs so that it all felt quite well underlined. There were only a few tiny little bits left, but I was getting over time and needed to wake Gareth up for that last five minutes at this point. Hey Gareth. It's five minutes left. Ah. Sorry, you <laughs> shouldn't have had the light on. All right, so we've got four minutes left on the clock. My heart is full on racing now. I have a couple of little voice file, voice things I want to record, and then it's color grade. Otherwise, I'm actually done. <laughs> uh, it's might, this is probably going to be a really simple color grade. <laughs> Two things I want to get. And cut! I know French jazzer. I know. That's it. <laughs> They're my voice files. Things down, that's it. That's it! Neither did I. I haven't seen daylight for a long time. <sighs> it's beautiful. I'm trying to fake cry, it's not working. I just need some sleep. <laughs> oh, the project's done, but I want to render it and not look at it. It's rendering. Okay. I am sitting in my own filth, don't feel great, and I want to enjoy this, and I will not enjoy it if I do it now. So we're just gonna cut, we'll come back, we're just gonna refresh, maybe have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, then we'll enjoy it, and we'll come up with a plan as to how best to share this beautiful creation with you guys. So that was crazy. <laughs> I have to say, I think the end result has turned out amazing. I haven't seen it for a while because I've taken quite a bit of a break so that I can come back to it fresh to enjoy it with you. However, it's actually more than five minutes long and this video is already very, very long. I won't leave you empty handed. I'm gonna make an epic trailer for you at the end of this video. Just like with trailers for epic cinematic masterpieces, think, you know, Avengers. There's stuff in the trailers that might mislead you or might not be in the final result. I have so much footage to work with that I had to cut from the thing. I could be showing you what represents the final movie or something that makes it feel completely different. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe, have the notifications bell ticked and all that good stuff. But now without further ado, the trailer for the cinematic masterpiece, Fever Dreams Do Come True. Spelt T-R-U because I was typing it after 18 hours of working before starting the edit because I was delirious. He was just your average Joe, working a job like anyone else. I am working a job like anyone else. But when the call to adventure came, I'm ready. he took up 
arms and face the adventure of a lifetime. But the greatest thing he learned was the, was the lessons he learned along the way. This is a great trailer. <laughs> This is epic. Join us in a cast reunion of epic proportions. Starring Average Joe, the Average Joe, Claire Leopardy, whose name could be abbreviated to C. Leopardy, which we thought was really clever at the time. <laughs> Sexy Benjamin, French Jazza, and this goblin. And maybe an elephant, but maybe not. Who knows? You have to stay tuned for the movie. Coming in a couple of days. So once again, keep your eyes peeled for that. It'll be in its own video coming out very, very soon, sharing the whole video and a whole bunch of the behind the scenes and some of the fun stuff that happened that we couldn't fit in this video. It's just too much to put all in one video. Huge shout out and thank you to MSI for sponsoring this video, making it possible. The Creator 17 laptop is, it stands up to its name. Handling two screen recordings while I was doing motion capture and animation in virtual reality, all the way to a really intense, high powered edit. I'm highly impressed and definitely recommend this. Yeah, well, of course, be links in the description for you to go check it out for yourself. I sincerely hope you've had a fun wild ride with me here today. Click like if you have, and otherwise there are more videos over there you might enjoy, including the t time I uh, reanimated a Studio Ghibli film Spirited Away in the course of 12 hours. Uh, less intense than this, but certainly another masterpiece. So while you're waiting for this masterpiece to come out, go check that out. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.